our overall goal is to develop new and improved ways to measure video quality from the point of view of human perception. We bring in groups of people in a carefully controlled circumstance and ask them to rate um, videos or images or audiovisual sequences so they would watch um, a 10 second video or a, a still image like we're seeing here and then typically rate it on a scale of something like excellent, good, fair, poor, or bad. The problem of course is it's slow and expensive. So another whole half of what we're doing is to develop or examine automated algorithms, computer programs that predict what people would say is the quality of a video sequence. Consider you've just taken a picture, you're out there, and you could press a button that tells you if you're going to like that picture or hate that picture when you get back home. Because you're out there with your camera, you've got this little teeny device, it's got a little teeny screen, you really have no clue if it's going to look good or not. And if you had a button there right then, you could know, okay, that's no good, I need to take another picture. And that's something that an end consumer can use and look at in their experience. And we're hoping to extend that to video quality as well. And this is one step along the way, is having a better understanding of how people uh, perceive the quality of images.